Recently, a whole slew of lost media has been found here on the internet. The EKT song, the backrooms level zero image location, the location of my hairline, oh, never mind. But since all of that in the last few weeks, even more backrooms level and image real life locations have been unearthed. And that's exactly what this video right here is for. Today, I will be going over the real life locations of the very famous Backrooms Level Fun, Level 94, and the infamous Liminal Basement image. And also, the location of this famous teddy bear liminal space. This literally came out while I was scripting, so this is the last second edition. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's explore where in the world, literally, these things exist. Also, leave a like if I should cover more real life liminal space locations. If you missed my video on Level Zero's real life place, I'll link it below. I'm sure you saw it, it has a ton of views, but it seems that the finding of that has really inspired more people and more searches of other Backrooms Levels images locations. The internet sleuths over on the Virtual World server on Discord have actually located the Level Fun image location, and the people who did that were Zaft, Regularly Blue, and Bippy. So congratulations to them for finding these locations for all of us, all the hours they put into it, all the stuff they did, all the contacting they did. They all deserve the credit, they're the champions. I'm just the messenger. Anyways, this is the level fun image that I'm referring to. This strange, childlike, unnerving, carpeted room with these weird depictions of animals on the walls and these really off-putting patterns on the carpets. The image itself is weird to be sure, but you might be even more disturbed to find out that the image was taken in the basement of a Burger King restaurant. This Burger King with the basement is in Germany. And I really find it weird that a fast food place has a basement, but that's beside the point. This image that you see now was taken back in 2011 in a place called Alexanderplatz, Germany. It was posted to Flickr by Tracy Rowling. The way that Zaft and Regularly Blue and Bippy found the image was by reaching out to the original photographer and asking that person where it was taken. He responded that the picture was taken inside of a Burger King in the center of Berlin and that the specific image they were talking about was the downstairs children's play area located near the bathrooms. Now, the photographer didn't give the exact literal address. They just said the center of Berlin. But using the information that he did give them, the sleuths were able to look through all the Burger Kings that matched the area in the description, and they eventually found the correct one in Alexander Platz. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I, I feel like it's... Alexander Platz, I don't know. After finding this specific location, they were able to uncover these other angles and these other pictures from that exact same room. And in a weird way, these extra images and these weird angles kind of make it even freakier. Like, who decided to paint these things on the wall of a children's play area? Did they want to traumatize little German children? Why would this need to be here? Why? What, what happened to this elephant? Is it okay? Also, why does a Burger King have a basement? I, it's still really weird to me. I, I don't know why that, that, that sounds horrifying. Either way, whatever the cause may be, the real life location of the level fun image is a mystery no longer. It was taken in 2011 and it's in the basement of a Burger King. And I really do want to have a word with whatever designer or architect put this building together. Why was this place created and why did you let children play in it? I feel like that would have traumatized me, but I also don't know. I, I grew up with traumatizing things too. I don't know. This image right here is another very famous liminal space picture. You've probably seen it floating around the internet for years now, and I'm assuming you had no idea where it came from, because neither did I. Now, the reason this image is so liminal, yet comforting to me, and I'm sure to you as well, is because it looks like the idealized childhood basement. It reminds me of a staircase that I've walked down hundreds of times, a place that I've sprinted through while playing tag or capture the flag. But despite this just being an image of a staircase, it somehow embodies this childlike wonder of sleepovers at your friend's house, where you'd stay up all night, downing root beer and playing the PS2, and wrestling and doing all that stuff we did as kids. The feelings that this simple image exudes are extremely powerful, 
And even though it's just seemingly this plain, empty place, it embodies it perfectly. Or I could just be completely insane, and none of that made sense. Anyways, this image of this basement and this staircase is very popular. The actual location of this image was tracked down by Bippy, and it seems to be in a house from Virginia. Now, I will not give the specific address because I don't want people, you know, knowing the exact address of a family's home, but the location is indeed in Virginia, and the images themselves were taken way back in 2007, and they were included in the property listing when the house was sold. Once Bippy found this image and its location, they were able to find other angles of the same basement, and it just leads to even more liminality. All these images have this empty, barren feeling to them from this house. I think it's genuinely insane how just one picture from a random for sale posting could be really infamous a decade later on the internet. Like the original photographer had no clue that this image would be seen by millions of people at one point. And they would also have no clue the liminality that is included inside of it. They probably didn't even know what a liminal space was. I don't know whether it's cool or whether it's sad, but either way, the staircase location is no longer lost. It's in Virginia, of all places. But level fun and this image staircase location are the two most popular locations of backrooms images that have been found recently. Actually, as of scripting this video in the virtual world server, user Zaft managed to uncover the location of another very famous image location that you probably have already seen before. The stuffed bear liminal space. This image shows a giant stuffed animal bear figurine inside of what seems to be some kind of waiting room or playroom type area. Zaft discovered this image location to be inside of a Ronald McDonald House charity building somewhere in Columbus, Ohio. The exact address is available, but the building has been remodeled since the photo was taken. The photo itself was taken a while ago, but here is an image from 2016 that looks slightly newer than the classic picture that we all know. I think it is utterly insane and honestly impressive how these locations keep getting found every single day, and so many more continue to get found every hour. I might actually do a series of all backrooms levels in order with their real life locations as well, so let me know if you want that. But yeah, that is the famous bear liminal space image. It's in Columbus, Ohio, inside of a Ronald McDonald House charity building, and it no longer exists. I do have one more location of a backrooms level, its real life counterpart that has been uncovered, and it did so through Jaden Salads and that is level 94. Now level 94 is up there with I would say the top five or six most recognizable backrooms images and liminal space images in general. It really just embodies all those characteristics of liminal, melancholy, horror, these rolling, empty, saturated hills with these fake looking houses on top that repeat for as far as the eye can see. And wouldn't you know it, the real life location and the inspiration of level 94 got found to be in Iowa of all places the flyover corn state of Iowa. And this was featured in my portion of the goat Jaden Salads video, which I'll link below if you're interested. So I know all about the original finding and the location of it. Also, Jaden and I linked up at VidCon this year. We hung out a ton. Super cool guy. Cannot wait to see him again. Many, many more collabs coming in the future. Go check his channel out in the description below. Anyways, this image of level 94 has these specific houses in them. And these houses are what we found. The image that you're seeing right now was taken by user LuckyBoySniper09 with the caption, quote, I was on a bus and I saw some houses that look suspiciously similar to the level 94 houses. I managed to quickly take some pictures of the houses before it was too late. And these images were the ones that Lucky Boy Sniper ended up taking. Eventually, Lucky Boy Sniper emailed the images and the location to Jaden Salads, who then featured them in his video. And the real life location was revealed to be near Mill Pond Road in Ankeny, Iowa. Again, I'm not gonna get the exact address, but I'll link Jane's video below. Along with the images and the location, this Google Street View of modern day was found. You can literally look at it right now. I'll link that below too. There's also other neighborhoods with the exact same housing style, just a few miles down from this neighborhood right here. And I think it's weird that this small portion of Iowa, of all places, Iowa, has these liminal looking houses. But it is these houses that seem to be the real life inspiration for the edited picture of level 94. If you want the full lore of the neighborhood and all that stuff, go watch Jaden's video. It's in the description. I was in it if you want to see that. But yet again, these weird, uncanny liminal spaces have their locations in very strange places. And that 
kind of rhymed. But yeah, this video has been three backrooms, levels, and famous images that have had their real life locations located recently. Again, shout out to all the people who searched for them. They deserve all the credits. Their credits below, of course. I also want to stress that these images and their locations being found and, and searched for does not ruin their liminality or their intrigue for me at all. In fact, I'd probably say it makes them even more mysterious. Like, why would these places exist? And why would people feel the need to photograph them? The locations being real kind of makes them more uncanny in a way. Like, why would a Burger King have a children's playpen in the bottom basement of it? Why does that need to exist? And why in Iowa would there be these random neighborhoods with repeating houses? After all, life does imitate art and life itself is very liminal. See, we were born in a time that's too late to explore and trailblaze Earth, but also a time that's too early to explore and to venture through the galaxies and the stars. So intrinsically, everybody watching this is a liminal generation ourselves. We're stuck between the old and the new, and these small pictures, these small locations of real life liminal pictures, they help us realize that in a way. Or again, I could be insane and that made no sense, but I hope you enjoyed it still. Thanks for watching.